This was probably the most chaotic flight I have worked in a very, very long time. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline based in San Francisco, California. I blog about my trips and I do my best to take you guys with me. Okay, it has been a roller coaster of a day. I commuted in late last night and I was looking to try to bad day, worst day trade um, one of my trips for two of my trips for later on in the month to something this week. And bad day, worst day, basically what that means is like, it's kind of complicated. I don't want to get too much into it, but basically we have these like calendar numbers and if they need more coverage on some days, you're allowed to trade up your trips or down your trips, if that makes sense. Um, so I was trying to trade some of my trips for later on in the month for something today. I thought I missed my chance. I waited all night and all morning and I could not find anything or I was too slow. And then earlier on in the day, a Frankfurt, flight a speaker position for that flight went into open time and it like ping-ponged between people i tried to call for it but i think it went between like four different people finally it went back into open time around like 1 p.m and i called to see i was like this is probably my last chance <laughs> called to see if i would be able to trade into it and they let me so i am working to frankfurt i just worked frankfurt last week so this is my yeah, second Frankfurt in two weeks. I bust, sorry. I feel like I worked a lot of Frankfurt last month was the London month. This month is the Frankfurt month. Um, but I'm excited. Honestly, I'm just so glad that I was able to do my trades. That was basically the biggest thing. Um, just trading my days so it works for me. And also I like a good productive trip in Frankfurt. I'm getting 20 over 22 hours for a three day, which is awesome. Um, but I am working the biggest plane in our fleet, the triple seven, 300, you know, the one, and I am beverage cart on the left. I think I actually have to double check, but basically this position is usually reserved for a German speaker, but if they don't have any more, they will fill it with either another language speaker or just convert it to a regular position that they'll either assign to a regular reserve or a line holder can pick it up, just like me. Um, I think that's all for now. I think I better head in. Let's see, it's 5.20. My check-in is at 6.05. And we are working the late Frankfurt. So my last vlog, I worked the early Frankfurt. This one, I am working the late Frankfurt. We take off around seven something. And then we don't land until the late afternoon there. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you all later. See you in Germany. Okay, you guys, we have made it to Frankfurt. This was probably the most chaotic flight I have worked in a very, very long time. Let me catch you up and tell you a little bit about it. I'm like still processing processing as you can tell i'm processing it okay so we are completely full on the triple seven three hundred i've said it before and i'll say it again it is a beast when it's full it's just a lot of people um and so it's very full very busy lots of little things happen during the flight during boarding all of that but the big thing didn't happen until we were done with service um basically we had a passenger who was feeling very unwell i don't like to get too much into our medical situation just for passenger privacy um but the passenger was not doing well we had to sit him down um on the ground and give him oxygen we called for medical professionals and basically they just they used a ton of equipment they um were really just trying to make him feel better he was going in and out of consciousness and it went on for a really long time 
we almost diverted. This is the closest I have ever been to diverting. Um, we were kind of over Canada at this time, so we we're nor the northeast part of Canada, um, and we we're about to cross into the Atlantic Ocean, so it was kind of like, okay, like, if we're going to divert for this passenger, we, um, now's the time. And we are in contact with, we have like a, um, a medical service that the pilots can communicate with doctors on the ground. So just in case there are no medical professionals on the plane, like we also have the advice from them and we use them even if we have medical professionals on the plane. So our medical professionals were talking to our captain, our captain was talking to this meddling service, um, and we didn't end up having to divert, which was good, but we definitely would have done that if it was, you know, in the best interest for the passenger. Um, luckily, we did not need to, but he was pretty much unwell for the whole flight. Like, I want to come here and tell you, oh, he was doing so much better after all this. But no, he was not. Um, like, up until, like, landing, he was really not doing well. Um, so, like, I, when we landed, paramedics came to meet the flight. Um, and I really, truly wish the best for him. I hope he gets better. I, um, I don't think it was, like, a life or death type situation, but I don't think he, um, was really... I hope he just gets time to like rest and recover because he was not doing well. Um, it just made me so grateful, like first of all, for the medical professionals. Um, I am so grateful for people who, you know, sacrifice their, their nice relaxing flight where they could be watching a movie to help out a passenger in need. Our medical professionals were awesome. I am so thankful for that. Thankful for my crew that worked together very well. Thankful for um, just the training that we go through to prepare ourselves for situations like this. Like. Once again, that's really why we're on board for situations like this, um, where somebody needs medical attention or in case of an emergency. Um, and we are trained for that. And I'm grateful that we are here safely. It was a lot though. Like it was, it just made everything really hectic. We had to change um, the way we kind of like did service to accommodate this passenger and make sure like somebody was with him and stuff like that. Um, and that's what we'll do. Like if it is for a passenger's well-being, like service can be rushed. <laughs> we can cut things because the safety is our primary focus. Um, but it did make it very hectic. <laughs> like our pre-arrival, we were just, we had to rush to clean everything up. Um, and yeah it was it was a lot there were just other things that happened too that just made the flight just a lot it was it was definitely so just chaotic i don't have another word for it it was chaotic um but we we're here and uh we we're safe and that's what matters and uh the passenger was had medical attention when we landed and um that's what matters and i'm grateful for the other passengers too that were very understanding of the situation um, let's see. It is, what time is it? 4.40 p.m. I'm meeting up with a crew member in about 20 minutes. I'm going to go down. We're probably going to get a glass of wine, decompress after this crazy flight, and then um, maybe go to DM. I just was here last week, and um, I'm actually coming back again next week, so that's a little sneak peek into some of my next videos. Um, but next week, I'm coming back for the Euros, which I am so excited about. I've been planning this for months. But um, this week, I don't really have that many plans just because I was just here. Don't need to do much, but I do think I want to hit up DM again because I love it, love it so much. And then um, just relax because, yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to just uh, quickly change and then I'll meet my crew member downstairs. I am so excited um, to just get out of this uniform and I am just, uh, once again, so grateful to be here safely that we didn't have to divert and that um, all the passengers at the end of the day were happy and taken care of. Also, it is a beautiful day. Sorry about the glare. It is a gorgeous day here in Frankfurt. I've never really had this view before. It is so pretty. Okay, I am all changed, ready to head down to enjoy this really beautiful afternoon in Frankfurt.
Hello everyone, it's 9.33 p.m. Just got back to my room. It's still so bright outside. It is so pretty. I'll show you outside um, in just a bit. But um, it was such a nice night. I didn't film much because we mostly just talked the whole time. It was me and then one girl from my crew. We got along very well. I knew I um, just like bonded with her well on the flight. We just had some good conversation. And so when she asked if I wanted to hang out tonight, I was like, definitely, because I had such a good time with her. Um, we just got along really well. We um, just talked about life, about work, about everything. Um, we just kind of like decompressed together after and like processed together about everything that happened on the flight. And so yeah, it was really good. We just got wine at the little like place there's like a little patio outside our hotel and then we went to dm we went to the grocery store and then um we went to get dinner and now we are back okay that is it for the night i'm going to just shower and call it a night relax and i will try to get up in the morning and go out and just like i don't know probably get some steps in and walk around i think there's a cup i'll probably walk into downtown but yeah, I think that's it for the night. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Oh wait, I told you I would show you. This is the sky now. It is 9.45 p.m. And it is this bright. I love Europe in the summer. Good morning, everyone. It is 5.45 a.m. right now. I... I slept, I fell asleep right away and I slept um, well for the time I did sleep, but I woke up really early. I woke up at like 3.30 a.m. and I've just been up ever since. I have not been able to go back to bed. I have not been sleeping very well on my European layovers lately, um, but since I'm awake, I am going to head to the gym, get in a workout. Um, then I'll probably go out and walk a little bit and then hopefully I can come back and like rest before pickup. My pickup's not until 3.30, so I do have a decent amount of time, um, but we'll see how my body responds. I am definitely feeling the jet lag, um, but let's make the most of this morning and get in a workout. Back from the gym, it was good. Um, the gym was pretty small though. I wanted to lift some weights and there were only like one little set of weights in one corner with one bench and there was already somebody lifting. So I didn't want to like get in the way and it they're just, it, I wouldn't really have been able to. So I ended up just doing some cardio. I did um, 12, 3, 30, but I do like four, 13, 340, um, and I feel good, moved my body, got a good sweat, and I am glad that I did. I am uh, kind of starving, it's 6.42 a.m. right now, so I think I'm gonna go find some food and then probably walk around a little bit. Maybe, I don't, I don't know what I'll do, but I'm hungry and I also want to get back early enough to try to lie down and see if my body will nap. It is a beautiful morning here in Frankfurt. The sun is out. It's like 50 degrees, but doesn't feel too chilly at all. I'm going to eat my little bagel sandwich and then see if I can fall back asleep. Oh my gosh, you guys, I, when I last talked to you, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get some sleep. I was hoping maybe I'd get like an hour, maybe two of sleep if I was lucky. Yeah, I slept for four hours. <laughs> um, I It's 1 p.m. now and I could keep sleeping. Like if I wanted to, I could definitely still be asleep right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. And this is so, so the jet lag because it's 4 a.m., I think um in california so i did kind of like do a i think i fell asleep basically from like midnight or something like that to to four um california time so it makes sense why i'm so tired um but yeah totally totally fell asleep knocked out could stay asleep 
but I think I just want to force myself to get up and I don't want to like sleep too too much um I'm just gonna walk around for like 45 minutes I have to get start getting ready at 2 30 so I'm probably gonna walk around until 2 maybe go to the grocery store um get some more water maybe get something to drink or to eat for the flight home we'll see but let's walk around a little bit and then we'll come back and get ready Hello everyone, it is about 12 minutes until pickup, so I am going to head down. Um, my layover here was lovely. It, I honestly slept a lot, and I'm really glad I did. It was a very tiring flight over here, as you all know, so I knew I needed some rest, but I really did enjoy walking around yesterday, eating with my crew member, and then um, the short little walk I did today I really liked too. Um, let's see. I will be here next week, which I'm excited about that. Um, and walking around and seeing all the Euro stuff made me very excited. For the flight home, we have about a hundred and... A 70 people in the back? Yeah, 170 people in the back, and this plane holds about 290 in the back. So we should have some open seats, which is really awesome. Um, yeah, <laughs> I feel like we deserved it after last flight, but it will be a good flight. Let's make it a good flight. Um, I am working at Beverage Isle on the left again, and uh, yeah, we should get back to SFO around, I think it's like 7 p.m., 7, 7 30, something like that. And and I think I'm gonna stay in the Bay Area and pick up another trip. But with that, let's head down and work back to San Francisco. We have made it back to the Bay Area. Oh my gosh, this flight was night and day compared to the other one. We had over 100 seats open in the back. It was so easy. Everybody was so happy, so polite. Everyone was able to spread out and they slept most of the flight. It was wonderful. We had longer breaks. I was able to sleep on break. It was great. Um, I am so happy to end on a positive note. Um, I'm going to drive home and gonna, just gonna like, not home, gonna drive to my room here in the Bay. Gonna do a little reset, do a quick laundry, all that jazz. Um, I'm planning on picking up another trip tomorrow don't have a trip yet so we'll see if I find something good but I'm gonna end this vlog here thank you so much for watching thank you for coming along this wild trip with me I hope you enjoyed it um even if I like you know complain or kind of like process through my experiences with you I am so grateful for my job and I am so thankful that you all want to see what I'm doing and I get to share that with you but thank you so much follow me on Instagram if you'd like my Instagram is dear underscore Michelle and subscribe give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one bye